Yes, people, so chest supported dumbbell side raises is probably the movement I see done incorrectly most often. The goal here is actually to make it as difficult as possible. So we want to challenge this shortened range of the delts, okay? So we actually get weaker at the top of these reps, but we want to spend as much time there as possible. So you'll see that I keep a gap of at least five to six inches between the dumbbells at the bottom. They don't come near each other. So we don't make sure our arms hang dead down. It might be easier to see this like in the mirror. You can see there's still a good gap between my elbow and my torso. Okay, you wanna keep that gap there and extend. Slight overhand grip, you can see like my knuckles are kind of pointed up. And then yes, once we hit failure, if we can't get that next rep, then we take that dead hang as a bit of respite, okay? But you should be able to do this like two, three, four times per set, you know what I mean? Each set is gonna be broken down like this. You're not gonna do a continuous set here to failure because you're gonna leave a shit ton on, on the table in terms of progression and reps, okay? So you can see the whole point of the chest support is to minimize momentum, but we can kind of allow a little bit to come through by cheating that and having a little bit more torso swing towards the end.